hey, you, guess what? We're going to give away $100. For more information, watch the end of the video. All right, play the intro. Call your next out. witness, sir. I'm not calling any witness until I get an answer, Your Honor. You're a public servant. Call your next witness. The oath that you swore to protect the Constitution. Oath that you, oath that you, Mr. Brooks, so you're going call your next your witness. Sworn oath that you, Mr. Brooks, call your next as you, witness. As you, well, there's witnesses available and ready to go. Call your next witness. Your Honor. Call it is your, your next witness. You're going to file the court. Telling you I'm the denying onset. the request to address it at this moment. Call your next witness. How call. Can, how can you please deny something that Put it in writing, hand discussed. it to the bailiff, and if I deem it important enough to interrupt the witness, I will. But call your next witness. How can I, how can I call a witness and write something down and do You can both. take a minute this to write way. down what it is. I'm, Mr. Brooks, that, room, call your next witness, please. You're Presiding on. over. I'm not going to address I have all of you here. Your oath, Your Honor. Your oath, Your Honor. Entry phase of this trial. Your Honor, you're call your next judgment. witness. Hey. Then please. Your Honor, I object to that. Your objections noted. And I'll, Your Honor, I just showed your oath that you swore to. Too. You swore. You Mr. did Brooks, this, Your Honor. Please call your next witness. You, you have to uphold these oaths. All right, I'm going to have to excuse the jury since Mr. Brooks. Uh, you have not to, calling his witness. Advising you at this moment to call your next witness, or you will forfeit the right to call these witnesses. You can't, you can't uh, take Under 906.11, right? you, you are cannot, refusing you cannot, to call cannot, a witness. I didn't refuse anything, Your Honor. A witness. I didn't refuse anything. Your Honor. I'm, not call Sir. I'm not calling any witness. I'm not calling any witness. I'm not calling any witness. Unless you tell me what it is so that I can make a ruling, um, I, I can't see how it would be relevant or appropriate for your closing argument. They're uh, part of my filings that you filed. The filings have no relevance. I also stated that it, it, I just clearly stated, clearly, that it goes towards biasness. That sorry, would be relevant. Wait, wait, goes to what? Biased. Bias? Biased. No, bias, B-I-A-S. There's no T at the end, bias. I want to make sure I understand your reasoning correctly, sir. So, it's what are you referring to then? Be very specific so I can make a finding and rule. I was specific. Uh, my other filings. That That's was not filed. specific. Please stop. You do not have an unfettered First Amendment right. That is very clear based upon. What do you mean by unfettered? It, it is not absolute. It can be restricted. So the Constitution of the United States can be constricted. All right, Mr. Brooks, I'm putting you on notice that if you continue with your insistence on raising issues that are, I'm going to raise issues that the jury needs to are, know. I'm going, I'm going to, to let the jury point. know the truth, the truth, the truth, the truth. You recall the description that you gave at that time? I do. Well, my best, best of my knowledge was that uh, you were either black, Latino, who's you, or mix. Who's you? Well, then you have to let him answer the question first before you interrupt him with another one. Go ahead with the description you provided that night. I said that the individual was either black, mixed, or Latino. So it would be fair to say you didn't know at the time. I was giving a general description. So it would be fair to say that you weren't sure. I was positive that I was positive it was you. Who is you? You. I'm looking at you. And how did you come to that conclusion? Uh, you and I were standing in the same yard looking at each other. So is it possible you saw something on the news? So again, I'm going to ask you, even if this letter's from her, these pictures are from her, how does it relate Honor, to her credibility before the jury? Who else could it be? Who else could these pictures be from? I'm going to ask you point blank. Did you get a letter that's signed from her? I got What do you mean signed? How do you know what's your, how do you know what's your, why do you have a belief that they are from her? I have multiple letters from her. You're not answering my question. 
Why do you believe the letters are from Erica Patterson? Because they were sent from Erica Patterson. Why else would I? Were they signed by her? What do you mean signed? Did she write her name on the letter? Was are, it the content of the kidding? letter? No, I'm not kidding you. I need to make a record, sir. You're making a statement that these letters are from her and that they're relevant to her credibility. Is it penmanship that you recognize? Why do you believe they're from her? I Could was be anybody somebody. Else? You gotta answer my question. It's called an offer of proof. But you still gotta understand why this this is this is mind boggling to me. You have to why would a foundation for these letters, sir? That might be this through your ridiculous. own testimony. So that I'm trying to figure out why you believe they're from her. Not all this other stuff about I'm in serious? jail and I have a child. I'm trying to ask, I, I need to know. It's called an offer of proof. Are you serious? What do you believe? Why do you believe? They're from her. I am serious. And because they're her. from her! You're so like how, how else am I supposed to answer that? I've given you a few reasons why it would lend to that opinion. So it has to be, it has to be put in a legal the term The bottom line is I need the letter. So if you're going to question her on that, the state absolutely has a right to see the letter. So you, you need to provide that letter. I'm not, the bottom line is I'm not going to allow any questioning without having that letter. The state has the ability to question you about that or question this witness and to look at the veracity of what your claims are here. This, I didn't get these pictures from they, nobody else. Why was so The record will else? reflect you have two pictures that you believe were from this witness. That I know is from. That I know. All right, I'll ask the state their position on all of this. My position, Your Honor, is that these pictures, first of all, should not be admissible. A jail phone call talking to his mother, Don Woods, uh, about Don Woods sending these photographs to him. Do you see Daryl Brooks uh, either in the courtroom or on any monitors in the courtroom right now? Yeah. Your Honor, and actually for this point, I would ask that the court order the defendant to remove his mask. Mr. Brooks, your order to remove your mask. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Which filing, sir? Not generally, but specifically. Are you done? Are you done? Sir, that's very rude. Mr. Brooks? And, uh, Miss Judge, Your Honor? Final type of issues, sir, that you would want the court to address. You have been unmuted, so you can answer that. Mr. Brooks, do you have any of those final type of questions or issues that you want the court to address? You are unmuted. I am. I just, I just told you I'm not. I'm not. Since, since, nothing, since nothing I say even matters at this point, I'm just going to tell the jury what they need to know. Mr. Brooks, you are aware that your closing arguments have to be based on law and fact, correct? I mean, they're going to be based on whatever I'll base them on. Well, I trust the state will object when appropriate, well, if appropriate. There's going to be a whole lot of objection being because... You just been making all the decisions determining my life. Are you telling me, sir, that you will refuse to follow the simple rules of decorum, courtesy, and, and, civility, and no, the rules of evidence, don't, don't and come, don't try to come the rules of procedure? Words. Don't try to come with your slick words. And sir, don't. I am not being slick. I'm trying to you, preserve no, the been, integrity. Okay, you've been slick. You've been right. slick. I'm going to mute you, sir, since what you are saying is not productive. I don't care. I need, to, I need to go I over these. All right, I'm muting. Were you even aware of what you were being subpoenaed for? Objection, relevance. Grounds. Sustained. Not relevant. She's testifying in a trial that's not relevant that she got subpoenaed? Mr. Brooks, she's here under your subpoena. What? The. The, it's oh, under nile 611 please ask the witness a relevant and probative question this is mine by the way mine by the way remind the jury that the statements of the parties 
for the attorneys are not evidence. Jim, sir? Man, what is y'all people trying to pull up, man? This is, this is ridiculous. Under 90611, you are directed to ask a question, or I will I ask the state you. if they have I heard any you. questions. I heard you. I heard you. Thank you. Next question, please. Daryl Brooks is present in person in custody. It is noted. All right, Mr. Brooks, just preliminarily. Hey, everybody. My YouTube channel is also a game show. Yep. As some of you know, we have been monetized after a month. A month. Some people take years to do this. Some people try for years and never do this. So thank you so much. And when I say we got monetized, it's because of you, the subscriber. I know that. You guys. So I'm going to get some of the revenue money right back to you guys. Uh, because you guys have been so wonderful and I couldn't have done it without you, I'm going to share my revenue money with this contest. Now, if you don't win the contest or... If you, this contest is this month, by the way, it's going to happen late January, late this month. So if you, if you don't win or if you check and this video has been around for a few months or a few years and you missed it, don't worry about it if you don't win because we're going to have plenty of uh, contests, stand-up comedy shows. I mean, the reason we're doing this is to get people to watch. The, the bigger this channel gets, the bigger the prizes are going to get. So if you miss out on this one, no big deal. There will be bigger and better prizes to come. Stick, stick with me. Subscribe. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. The rules are very simple. you got to be 18 or older. You cannot know me personally. So my best friend Jerry, for example, cannot win. Sorry, Jerry. Mm. Or you have to have Zell. That means having an email address so I can send you the money. Uh, Zelle is the only way I'm going to send the money. Uh, now, when you see down there, right there, in that exact font, if you see the word contest, when you see the word contest, you have to write in the comments of that video, you have to write my name, P-E-J-M-A-N, Pejman. You write Pejman in whatever comment you want, and I'll pick a winner. Now, I already have a secret number in my head. I've already chosen the number. It might be number one, it might be number 300, it might be any number in between. Now, whoever writes Pejmon, so I know you're participating in the contest, Pejmon and whatever comment they want, I will count until I get to mystery secret number. And whoever comments on that number will win $100, simple as that. Whenever you see the word contest down below there, that means it's a contest. Not this one, by the way, not this video. I'm just explaining it to you. But that goes for all my videos. If you ever see the word contest, and it might not be in the beginning, it might be in the middle, it might be at the end, nobody knows. So that means you have to watch because the more people watch, the more revenue and the bigger prizes I can give you guys. That's what it's all about, man. So subscribe, watch, and play. Now, I've told a few people, about a dozen to be exact, when the date of the contest is. It's kind of an open secret. You have to read the comments for this Easter egg. And when you go and, and if you look through all my comments of all my pages, you will find it eventually. I've told 12 people, about 12 people, I lost count to be honest to with Ring you. the bell because trust me, trust me, ring the bell. The faster you respond, the more chance of you winning. That's a huge hint, by the way. Ring that bell and write in the comments my name as fast as you can. Subscribe, uh, ring the bell, write the word Pejmon in the comment whenever you see the word contest in any of my videos other than this one. Good luck.